Hi everyone. So I went on a backpacking trip this weekend. It was in New York and it was 12 miles in the first day and then tenting at the shelter. And then the next day it was a 10 mile hike out. And I went with a group called Hudson Valley Hikers and just really wanted to test out all my gear and also see some more of the Appalachian Trail, which is what we hiked on. And I will put the mile markers in here since I don't have them off the top of my head, but you should be able to see them in the notes here in just a minute. And um, everything went really well. A couple things off the top of my head. A, it's really nice to hike with a group. It's a lot of fun. B, it's really difficult to hike at a speed that's faster than what you're comfortable with. And C, it's a really great idea to test out everything and see how it how it works for you. So for this trip, as far as the temperature goes, it was up to around 40 degrees during the day. At night, it got down to close to freezing. Um, day one, it was dry, but once we got to the campsite, it did start raining and it rained all night pretty consistently. And the next day when we hiked out, it was raining as well, but you'll see a lot of snow on the ground. It was hard pack, wasn't a lot of snow, but it was slick to where we were using micro spikes and um, it was a lot of fun. So I just wanted to share it with you too. Enjoy. On one of my breaks, so. and it's, it's not even like, it's like 78 calories an ounce. Mm -hmm. So it's... Here's my tent, pitched all pretty in the rain. Home sweet home. My very first bear bag. Eh, is that how high? Looks like taller than a bear. Looks like a bear can't reach it. Tied to the other tree for success. Yes. So we got to the shelter maybe around 2.30. It is 7.45 right now. First I learned to double check all of your gear because as I was running out of time, I thought I had everything because I didn't see anything remaining only to arrive at our starting place without my micro spikes. But someone had an extra pair and they were so nice as to loan me them, so that worked out quite well. I practiced setting up my tent again. For some reason, the way I set it up, the doors over the vestibule area, they weren't pulling tight at all. And I learned that even though I like my hiking poles, which are the supports for the tent, even though I like them lower because it creates more floor space within the tent, um, there can be a point where they're too low too. So I had to raise my hiking poles, readjust all of the um, anchor ties and got a pretty good pitch. Once the tent was set up, I went to hang my bear bag. The first time ever, I gave it a shot and where the support branch was lower than what I wanted. I would really like it another two feet higher, but um, I couldn't reach it with my arms up and I had maybe two more feet above my hand. So I'm hoping that a bear is not any taller than that, but I did successfully hang the bear bag using the alternate PCT method where you actually tie it off to a different tree than the one you um, threw your, your uh, rock bag over. We stopped at a stream and took some time to filter water. So I used my new Sawyer squeeze filter. Uh, the water was a little brownish, but um, tasted fine, it filtered fine. Uh, I used my smart water bottle to back flush the filter for the first time. So it went pretty well. And I did bring hot hands this time. So I was able to warm up my feet and my hands as well. I wore the Injinji toe sock liners. And on top of those sock liners, I use knee height waterproof socks. 
and then wore my shoes, my trail runners on top of them. And the water did soak through my shoes. My waterproof socks did get a little wet on the outside, but when I took those waterproof socks off, the inside was nice and dry. Um, and my sock liners were not wet at all. They might be a little damp just um, from exertion, but they were not wet at all. None of the water came through the water, the waterproof sock. And I think I'll be heading to bed with the rest of them here pretty soon, so I'll see you guys in the morning. As George Costanza says, just look annoyed, and no one will ask you to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, I... <laughs> All right, everyone be careful, the ice is not that thick. Why don't we all stand where you are right now? Yeah. But I, I, I don't want to... Okay, yeah.